Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. By the way, there can be opposites attract. It's almost that Emperor is wanting to reconcile. They're wanting to work together with you. But we'll see. We'll clarify. That is the vibe I'm getting, bottom deck energy. What they're thinking about you here throughout the year, we have star, six of cups in reverse. They're not feeling the most hopeful when it comes to the situation um, because of what happened in the past uh, between the both of you or something external to you. So yeah, it's not the most hopeful energy. Let's clarify. Why is this person's overall thought, uh, energy the star in reverse? They're saying they know some sort of truth. They have that clarity about this situation and they feel that this won't grow. Age of Cups, Four of Pentacles. So they're holding back uh, their feelings for you. It's almost a secret crush at this point. It's not the most vulnerable or expressive energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius with that star. It doesn't have to be. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. We have actually all the signs. Why is Six of Cups in reverse here? With the star upright. Yeah, whatever happened here, some of you, um, I was saying they're healing, right? From a past situation with you or someone else. But they're very attracted to you here. And it seems to be mutual. In your feelings, we have King of Wands. Death in Reverse, Page of Cups. Yeah, they... It's almost having a crush on you here, Virgo. But they're not the most expressive. They're wanting to, is what I'm seeing. Some of you, they're, they're having to apologize or they're needing to, and they're stalling, right? They're taking their time. And others of you, I'm getting two scenarios, and others of you, they're still holding on to some resentment from something that happened to them in the past. Your overall energy for the year, we have 10 of wands, the death. I don't know why I say the death, it's just death. <laughs> um, you're closing out some stressful um, cycles here. Uh, expect a lot of changes. You're the only sign um, to get this combination, but also the death card. So expect powerful change here, Virgo. Clarify 10 of wands. But it's also a card of persistence, dedication, working hard. Just, so whatever changes are coming through, you're, you've been putting in the work, right? It's not overnight. Why is Ten of Wands here? The world, yeah, you're completing a cycle. Uh, completing one cycle and embarking on a new journey. A lot of you it can be, right? If you're not interested in this energy, um, and the cards are picking up on a past person, right? Because if we look at the figure on the world, um, it's looking at the rest of your spread, right? Whereas the death card, um, the figure has the, their back to the spread and they're moving forward. So definitely some of you could have felt that you were putting in all the work or this is a burden you don't want to carry and you're moving forward. It doesn't always have to be moving apart here, Virgo, when I say you're closing out one chapter. It definitely can be moving to the next level um, in your relationship for some of you. Why is death here? But a lot of you I am getting your uh, moving forward. Why is death here for Virgo's overall energy?
Yeah, you're recognizing the truth of the situation here. Two of Cups in reverse, Seven of Swords. There was some de deception manipulation. So you have the answers, you have the closure you were seeking, if that is the case, Virgo. Yeah. You're not wanting this drama. You're ending this. You're going from the Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Death. There's also some people, this is your overall energy for the year, right, Virgo? Um, there's a few people you're having to put in their place. Um, it can be dramatic friends, family members, people that are draining your energy. Um, so you are prioritizing, you're putting yourself fir first, and you're letting go of whatever is no longer serving you, right? You won't be hesitant to cut out people, places, things here moving forward. It's beautiful energy, it's very empowering, is what I'm seeing. How this person will be viewing you, we have Five of Swords, Two of Cups. Five of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups upright. Well, they f they're viewing you as someone who um, they have a strong bond with. It's almost soulmates, right? With that Six of Cups, Two of Cups. And they're seeing you as someone who's not about drama, right? You're tired, you're not wanting to be um, involved in any chaotic situations here. You're not wanting to fight. Why is Five of Swords in reverse here for how this person will be viewing Virgo? Queen of Cups, yeah. People that don't deserve your time, energy, love, you're closed off. It's exactly what I'm getting. Magician, you're very intelligent. You see things clearly. And you're very capable. This person knows. They know your worth. They know your power. Why is Two of Cups here for how this person is viewing Virgo? Some of you, you're in a commitment with this person. They're seeing you as someone who's very dedicated um, to this connection to make this work. Get, you're doing what needs to be done. Um, you're wanting to put in the work. We have Eight of Wands, Empress. Some of you could have children with this person, but I do see a lot of physical attraction. Um, it seems to be mutual, right? But also I'm getting you do have uh, a lot of responsibilities. Um, the Ten of Wands in the world can definitely be work success, right? Promotions, some sort of accomplishment, graduation. Those of you that are students. Why is this person viewing Virgo as the Two of Cups? Two of Cups in reverse. Same energy. Look at that. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Wands upright. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I see drastic changes within a relationship here. With that Two of Cups in reverse, there may have been a fallout in the past. But I see you both willing to compromise and work together. That is what I'm getting. You're both wanting to see changes. This person's feelings, we have Hierophant in reverse, Wheel of Fortune upright. There is a little bit of resistant to ch resistance to change, right? Um, they know that this connection, this relationship will bring some drastic changes in their life. And I'm not sure they're quite ready or mentally prepared with that star in reverse especially if there may be something unconventional about this connection it may be same sex or culture race there may be different beliefs here backgrounds right age difference why hierophant in reverse for how the person on virgo's mind will be feeling sometimes can talk about um someone who's non-committal why is Hierophant in reverse here? Hierophant upright fool in reverse, yeah. It's someone who's, maybe some people that are against this relationship and they're worried about what others will say, right? Because this character is having to defend themselves, their beliefs.
Wise Wheel of Fortune here. But this is also a stubborn energy. If I look at the rest of the spread with the Emperor, King of Swords, Harvin, um, it's very stubborn, fixed, right? Wise Wheel of Fortune here. Not taking that Wise Wheel of Fortune here. Ace of Wands. Yeah, Virgo, they're wanting to fight for this. They're very, very attracted to you. The chemistry is through the roof. They feel very fortunate, lucky um, to have met you. It's almost a once in a lifetime opportunity. And they're very uh, possessive over you. Seven of Wands, it's almost someone wanting to fight for you, this connection. They're burning with desire. Why is Wheel of Fortune here? But if I look at the energy, it is someone who's um, bringing more passion your way for the time being, right? Death and reverse, yeah, they haven't let you go. They're resisting this ending, this change, if there has been a fallout. And some of you, yeah, it's sort of, you know, they're getting out of another commitment. I was getting that here with the star in reverse. So this will take some time if they are coming out of another connection here. If they're already committed, that is the reason they can't commit to you. And that's straightforward, which is why they're bringing more passion here with, right? But I definitely see messages here. Expect to hear from this person, Virgo. How you'll be viewing them, we have Emperor in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. You're viewing them as someone who is stubborn, uh, very fixed in their ways, and not an easy person to deal with. And someone who's not, you may be seeing them as someone who has control issues as well. Why is Emperor in reverse for how Virgo will be viewing the person on the right? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. You're seeing, you know what's up there. You're seeing them as someone who's not taking any drastic steps towards you, right? Um, there is a little bit of resistance to resistance to change. So you feel the situation is stagnant. You're reflecting here, Virgo, moving forward, right? Do I want to keep going? Do I want to invest or should I abandon this? So you are at a crossroads to some extent. I see you thinking about this quite a bit. Wise King of Swords in Reverse. And some of you, if this person's in another commitment relationship, the reason they're not leaving that behind is because of all the time energy they've invested, right? They're not ready to give up what they've already established. Wise King of Swords in Reverse here for how Virgo is viewing this person on their mind. who's deceptive. Um, they're giving you... They run hot and cold with that Ace of Wands, King of Swords. You never knew where you stood with them. They can be mentally unstable for very few of you. But yeah, they were juggling and they were in another situation. So you're aware that this person's not to be trusted if that were the case. Few of you, there's no communication, Virgo. This person's silent with that Seven of Pentacles hermit. They're not really expressing much here. But you are aware that, you're very aware that this person does have emotion for you, regardless of how they appear. But you feel they hold back. They restrain themselves. In your feelings, we have strength in reverse, King of Wands upright. Yeah, you're wanting to take action. You're very attracted. Leo, Leo energy coming through. Why is strength in reverse here? 
sometimes that combination can be feeling weak in the knees, right? But we'll see why strength in reverse here for how Virgo will be feeling. A lot of, we have a Wheel of Fortune Major Arcana coming through. Some of you may be waiting for that right opportunity um, to express yourself. If you're needing to apologize, maybe you're waiting for that right opportunity. Because there does seem to be separation and, um, you know, stalking or watching the other here with that Page of Swords in reverse. And others of you are waiting for this person to apologize. Why is King of Wands here? Yeah, I don't see you doing much. You're choosing to hold back. Two of Wands in reverse, four of Wands upright. Yeah, I don't see you wanting, a lot of you are not wanting to go out of your way to do anything here, right? It's sort of, if this person wants to make it happen, they will. If they want me to be a part of their life, they'll take action, right? For your outcome, we have Magician Upright, Eight of Swords in Reverse. I love this energy for you. For one, that is your card. You're feeling very much in power. And if there was any anxiety, insecurities, you're getting your confidence back here. You're feeling very powerful. You feel you can have whatever you put your mind to. You're having faith in yourself, your abilities. Why is Magician here for Virgo's outcome? Yeah, power of the mind. You know you're a powerful manifester here. King of Swords, why is the Magician here? For the outcome between the Virgo. Yeah, you're tired of obsessing, overthinking, right? You're getting clear here with yourself. And I do see um, communication coming in, Virgo. Why is Eight of Swords here in reverse? So if there has been little to no communication with that Four of Swords, I see a breakthrough here. Why is Eight of Swords in reverse here? Eight of Cups in reverse. A lot of eights. Yeah, someone coming back around here with that Knight of Wands. It's this person. This person's rushing back towards you. They're saying I've changed with that Devil in reverse. And you're. it's almost testing this person as well, right? You're no fool here with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a very experienced, mature energy. Someone who's been there, done that, right? So you're watching what this person is, not only what this person is saying, but how they're acting. So you're keeping a close eye on them. And you're protecting yourself with that sword raised, right? But I definitely see a comeback around here, Virgo. We have heart fog in their energy. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. Yeah, this person messed up. Blocked emotions, king of swords in reverse. This person's has some emotional issues. Some of you, it's stemming from their childhood with that Six of Cups. But they, they're giving you mixed signals. I definitely see that. Wheel of Fortune in someone's feelings is also unstable, right? So they run hot and cold. We have a loyalty. Trusting, reliability, believing. Yeah, this person is sees you as someone who's a loyal. And they do have love for you, Virgo, regardless of how they're acting. Right, they were seeing you as their two of cups. Um, someone they have a strong friendship, connection with, regardless of what is going on. We have, I don't have the ability to love you right now. I already have too much on my plate. So they may have responsibilities. Um, if they have family, children, that is what it's pointing to. But it can be work responsibilities, right? We have, I wasn't looking for love, but you stole my heart. I didn't think someone like you existed. Yeah, 
You have this person's heart. Two of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse. They're very emotionally invested in you. It's almost they met you, Virgo, when they were losing faith in love, right? Because they're saying, I didn't think someone like you existed. You're too good to be true. For your advice, we have know your circle. Success can breed fake friends and enemies. Keep your circle small. Raise your standards for your life and the people you allow in it. Yeah, I think this is telling you you're on the right path because I see you doing exactly that, right? Where I was telling you you're cutting out people, energies that are draining you with that Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Energy vampire, being something big. So be careful of those people that you do um, allow around you, right? They're saying keep your circle small. We have marriage. You two will find peace and happiness, love each other wholeheartedly, and no matter what challenges might carry you guys apart, you will find each other. Yes, in your outcome, in this person's feelings, I was getting someone who was coming back around. I definitely see communication. And you're a powerful manifester. So if you do want commitment and marriage, there's strong possibility here, right? We have King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about marriage, stability, commitment. So if you want this with this person, I see that. And others of you, this is where you're headed. So with or without this person, you're still having your happily ever after. Oh, bottom deck energy for this deck. We had apology. Forgiveness return. Sorry. So yes, if they've done you wrong, they will be back with an apology. Right? Page of Cups. Let's get you this love fortune teller. What can Virgo expect in regards to the person on their mind for the rest of Civ over you, definitely. We also have worth a second chance. For numbers, we have 43, 75. Stand your ground. This person is, wasn't I telling you? They're defending themselves, their beliefs, seven of wands. Jealousy and stand your ground. <laughs> Manifesting what you want, magician. We have ready to make a change, but patience is required. Yeah, it makes sense with all these major arcana, right? It's not overnight progress, but it is slowly but surely. There is changes here. love bombing yeah some of you this was the case which is why we also have their your twin flame 11 11 love bombing yeah i was getting someone who can be a bit of a smooth talker right there was some manipulation which is why you were being more cautious here this won't be for everyone it's for some of you yeah taking their time good news coming they're your twin flame yeah, you will hear some positive news. You're hearing communication. And we have healing heart. 37. Yeah, eight of swords to devil. And they're saying let them make the first move. There was false promises. Some of you, this person was saying, right? We will, I will commit leading to marriage, false promises. They gave you false hopes with love bombing that there will there is a future here there's potential but they let you down right and we have let them make the first move i do see someone who's genuinely sorry and they're wanting to change but i definitely your guides don't really want you to do anything here and i think you were doing that with the four of swords right let this person prove themselves to you if they're saying they've changed with the devil in reverse let their actions speak for itself right that is what I have. Let's get you this deck and we'll end the reading here. They're pretty looking. Pay attention, you don't overlook it. It's the right path to take. Yeah, new doors are opening for you. And it's in regards to romance. We have fool's gold collaboration. Yeah, they're saying you'll have options, but collaborate with others, right? Be open-hearted, open-minded, and go for what captures your heart, not what captures your eye, is your advice. 
But yes, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.